Hey guys! Recently I saw a advert on TV, which I am watching now, that haagen -Dazs has done a Japanese flavour style ice cream and it's with mochi and I'm really excited to eat it. For anyone that knows me, knows, just, just feed me sugar. Just feed me sugar and I'll be fine. So this one is basically mochi and walnut. Walnut, I think. I'm not a big fan of walnut, but because it's ice cream, I think I might like it. So, I'm going to try it. I hope it has a spoon in there because I haven't prepared a raw spoon. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is amazing. Yum! Tadakimas. Oh gosh. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. It has walnuts inside, which go really, really well with this syrupy sauce that they've got in there. And then it ha it's it's almost like there's a mochi covering the top of the ice cream, and then underneath is ice cream. So if you buy it, which you really need to buy it. Going to try the next one now. Mm. Oh, it smells really good. It's got like a powder on top. Oh, oh that's just straight up mochi. Oh. oh, there's the mochi. Can you see? Wow, I can't even describe what that tastes like. I don't think I've ever had this flavour before. But the, the mochi and the, the powder's just gone all over my skin. The mochi and the ice cream, coffee flavour. Definitely like a coffee flavour. Sorry it's only short guys, but I just wanted to show you how Japan recreates all of their flavoured things and sweets and incorporates them in with daily foods like crisps and ice creams and it's super nice. I would really recommend you trying these and they I think they were <coughs> 199 yen, which is about a pound each. So a pound for like a little portion, a pound for a portion. I think that's really good. That's like buying an ice lolly. The ice cream bag. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Bye.